Good morning, everyone. Before I start, I just want to put on my glasses so I can actually see what I'm reading today. <laughs> my name is Chanel Thompson, and I'm a senior at North Hills Senior High School in Pittsburgh, PA. North Hills is a suburb populated by mostly Caucasian people. Out of over 1,000 students, only 7% are of a minority race. As a result of the obvious lack of diversity, many people in my school and community are ignorant to other cultures. Because they do not know about others, they tend to assume that the negative stereotypes that are used to portray other races are accurate. Like so many others here, I have been personally called racial slurs, had things thrown at me, and have experienced prejudices by teachers and administrations. But I'm not here to complain about my life. I'm not here to whine. Instead of accepting that people would never change, I decided to do something about my situation. My first step toward action started with the research project that I was assigned last year. I chose to focus on the issue of racism in schools. Although I found value, valuable information, I wanted my assignment to be on a more personal level. With the help of my English teacher, I gave 100 students a survey about racism in our school. Not surprisingly, more non-white students thought that racism was not an issue, or was still an issue, than the white students. On my survey, I asked for suggestions that would help acknowledge more diversity in our school. One of the reoccurring statements that caught my eye was to bring back Diversity Club, and that's where I knew I could make my mark. I, my English teacher put me in contact with Mrs. Davis, who also happened to be my guidance counselor. Mrs. Davis explained that Diversity Club had fallen apart in recent years due to inactivity. Even though she was disheartened about it, she gave me the opportunity to start holding meetings again. And I reached out to my friends and students that I know would be passionate as I was about diversity. In a few short weeks, we had a reorganized council. In addition to a new name, Diversity Council has grown to more than 20 dedicated students, with more coming each week. As a senior in a leadership position, I recognize that it's my, part of my responsibility to help Diversity Council excel. In one short year, we have been very productive, and a few of our events include mixers with other schools, informative videos on the announcements that got the whole school involved, and pledges to stop bullying and start accepting all cultures and ways of life. Because of our activities, many people came and asked me about Diversity Council and what it was about. I start by telling them our purpose, to promote acceptance of all cultures and statuses and to celebrate our differences. I'm standing here today because I had the determination to push for change, and I had support from other students who felt the same way. As youth, we can be judged on, based on our age, but through Diversity Council, I learned that it's never too early to start to make a difference. Malcolm X's famous words apply more to today ever than they ever did. Education is a passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for today. Thank you for the, to the Princeton class of 1966 for this prestigious award and for this experience. Thank you for, to the other Princeton prize winners for accepting me with open arms and making sure I felt comfortable. I also want to thank my mother and my grandparents. My mother especially pushed me to excel by providing a supportive environment even while she worked multiple jobs at one time. She accomplished what usually takes two parents to do by herself, and it made it look easy, even though she would disagree with me on that one. So I accept this award for myself, but she should be the one receiving it. Thank you.